Okay, so in this video, we're going to find the inverse of this exponential function. So, solution. So to find the inverse, the first thing you do, it's a step-by-step -step process, uh, is you call this y. So step one, I like the number of my steps, y is equal to uh, 3 to the x minus 2 plus 4. So step one, call it y. Uh, an inverse, and it's a function and its inverse undo each other, right? So if a function sends x to y, the inverse sends y back to x. So it's natural that when we're looking for the inverse, we're supposed to switch the x's and the y's. So this y will become x, and this x will become y. Okay? And now the third step is what makes the problem hard or easy. We, have to, we actually have to solve for y. Okay? That's, that's the tricky part. So step three, is a weird noise. Uh, step three is to subtract four. So solve for y. Minus four, minus four. So x minus four equals 3, so y minus 2, okay? And now to solve for y, uh, we have to get rid of the 3. So to get rid of 3, we'll take the log of both sides. So since it's a 3, we'll use log base 3. So log base 3 of x minus 4 is equal to log base 3, whoops, this chalk is so bad, of 3 to the y minus 2. Cheap chalk, cheap chalk. All right, and then these cancel, you just get y minus 2. They don't cancel, but it looks like they do, but it's equal to y minus 2. So I'll write it over here. And here we have log base 3 of x minus 4. To finish, you just simply add the 2. So y is equal to 2 plus log base 3 of x minus 4. And that is actually the inverse function. You can actually, you can actually write it using the proper notation. So f inverse of x is equal to 2 plus log base 3 of x minus 4. Yeah, there's some pretty loud fireworks in the background, so I got distracted. I wonder if you can hear those in the video. You'll find out, or I'll find out. That's it.